In the West, Anil Kapoor shot to recognition with his depiction of the game show host in the 2008 film Slumdog Millionaire. Are you ready? Please give a big round of applause Good luck, to our very first contestant of the night, Jamal Malik from our very own Amchi Mumma. The film took home eight Oscars and turned its cast into international movie stars. What everybody tells me is that whenever you, we see you, you get a smile to our faces. That's what everybody feels when I'm because yeah, I, yeah, because they feel I'm full of energy and excitement. But for Indian fans, Kapoor has been one of cinema's greats for decades. He first won acclaim for his role in the 1984 film Mashal, and three years later captured the heart of the nation in Mr. India. Like many film stars in India, Kapoor's family has gone on to become one of the great acting dynasties. His daughter Sanam is now one of Bollywood's up-and-coming greats, and this month she stars in the film Aisha, produced by both her father and her sister. Keeping it in the family in the best possible way, Anil and Sanam are your connectors of the day. It's been a you know a phenomenal journey for me because what I did was uh, I let them be, you know I just gave them all the freedom, and uh, I said uh, you know. Uh, Sonam as an actress and uh, Rhea as a producer and I just felt that uh, I, it was the right decision I took there with the entire team and that's the reason I think if I was there every day and on their heads trying to make this film happen I think it would have been a terrible film. <laughs> You've created this, this, this acting dynasty I mean the family is extraordinary there are going to be charges of nepotism here I'm assuming you don't care, do you, at this point? So it's been, um, you know, it's, I've done most of it, but it's easier for me because I'm my father's daughter, honestly speaking. I'm not going to take that away from him at all. It's like 30 years of his experience that has helped me out. But that's in every industry, um, whether you're in, um, an, in journalism or whether you're in a doctor, you're a doctor's daughter, or a banker's daughter, or a, um, a businessman's daughter, you're selling soaps, for God's sake. You know, it, it doesn't matter. We've got some questions from the viewers here. Um, Tabish has written to us. He says, Anil, you are a fantastic actor, but what do you enjoy more, acting or producing? Acting. Really? No way. I, I don't know. Producing, thank, I'm so happy that my younger daughter is wanting to produce films, so I have given the baton to her. Mm. and I'm going to LA next month and I might not come back. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like producing films. It's too much of a, you know, you know it's a thankless job, I feel. Uh, I'm from a production family, my father, and we all have been making films the last 50 to 60 years now, and we made a lot of films. I've been involved in every department of producing films, from, you know, any odd job to, you know, top, you know from creating, you know, marketing, funding, everything. But I love acting. That's my first passion. Sark asks, you, whether it's been tough uh, being critical when working with Sonam, and perhaps how do you feel about working with Dad as well? I would love to work with Dad, but mm -hmm. as an actor, um, I think, because I'm a selfish actor, and I think if you work with great actors, um, acting is all about reacting. So when you have great actors around you, you just become better. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just to make my performance better, I would love to work with my dad. And I <laughs> <laughs> we did an endorsement together and uh, it was great fun and I was quite taken aback by her <clears throat> and her growth as an actress and uh, she's an actual which is which is not that because she's sitting with me but I was quite taken aback by her, um, her you know the way she is so relaxed in front of the camera. Sadvik's got an interesting question he says with all the misgovernance and corruption in the Indian political system why don't celebrities like yourselves speak out more he argues that you are possibly in the best positions to to create and help change do you do much do you get involved in the political sphere? to be honest with you I do but I'm, I don't do enough I'm being very honest with you and I would rather I would love to do more and uh, you know, and um, that's I. That's my regret, and I'm being very honest about it. And I would like to do more, and I would like to uh, be make um, certain issues more public so that people are aware of. You know, there are, there is a lot of corruption, there is a lot of mis, you know, the governance, and there is you know, there's a lot to be uh, changed and improved in our country. And uh, and but I'm very very happy and very proud of the younger politicians who are now 
making an, a great impact and making things uh, working more towards the uh, the villagers and the have-nots than the haves. Oh, did you ever have any sense of how big Slumdog was going to be? My dad didn't know who Danny Boy was. <laughs> no, no, I didn't know, actually, to be honest. No, no, yeah, no they made me aware of it. <laughs> it was really funny, but my brother has a um, picture, uh, like a poster of, his, of Requiem. Mm. Um, uh, <laughs> and train spotting. And train spotting. <laughs> and my brother's like, oh, Dad. How do you know who he is? You have to do this film. He read the script in one night. He was like, it's fantastic. It's fabulous. You have to do it. And that's when my dad really? read it and he loved it. So, so that's, that's the way, I, you know, and so uh, it has been a life-changing, uh, yeah. uh, you know, uh, part of my life. And I think for everyone connected with Islam Dominion, it has been uh, life-changing. And I'm very happy that, you know, they knew who Danny Boyle was. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting in front of you giving this interview. No, but Dad, you did it because you loved your role.